Sci-fi defines a fan theory as ideas and speculations that audiences have about movies, shows, comics, or anything really. They exist because fans are creative and passionate about their types of media that they enjoy. And there are lots and lots and lots of different kinds which take different kinds of shapes and forms. For instance, the coma theory is a really popular one. Um, you take a main character, boom, coma. That nothing happened, it was all in their head, and that's how you can explain fantasy, because apparently fiction is too fun, um, and it shouldn't be allowed, I guess. And then on top of that, you also have other theories, just kind of general ones. The bad guy was the good guy all along, for instance. Or a popular theory is the dad theory. Who is the dad? Made popular by Ash Ketchum, because um, obviously we don't know who his dad is. So who's the dad? Who's the father? It could be anyone. This is a, you know, it's a popular fan theory that appears in a lot of different types of media. Ash Ketchum's father. Who's Yugi's father? Who's Digimon's father? And now... We ask the question of who's Mark Evans' father from Inazuma 11. Now, I know what you're going to say. TXM, you are stupid. Mark Evans' father is told to us. It's quite obvious. It's Harry Evans. And to that I say, no. How do we know that for certain? We never saw Harry and Sharon Shag. We have no official proof that Harry is the sperm, is the little sperm that made it. We have no proof that's what it is. So today, I am presenting an argument that Harry Evans is a cuck and not the real father of Mark Evans. Let's figure out who that is. Welcome to Law and Chaos. Google defines a cuck as a weak or servile man, often used as a, a, contempt a contemptuous term for a man with moderate or progressive political views, or a man whose wife is sexually unfaithful. A cuck old, if you will. And I will. So, what we're going off here is that Harry Evans is a cuck. And by that, we're talking and we're saying that he actively enjoys the act. Well, not necessarily actively enjoys, but he condones. He is all right. He, he gives a thumbs up to the act of Sharon Evans shagging someone else. And that is how Mark Evans came to be. Harry Evans had no involvement in the actual act of the sexual intercourse. Now, immediately, you may call me a doubter. And you may say, Tom, that is a preposterous theory. How could you even begin to, to even begin to say that? To which I say, fair point. So I figured I needed to do a bit of research to back up my claim. I needed to ask around the Zoom 11 community, see what people were saying. And so I asked them, um, YouTuber Tale of the Toaster, uh, 12k VM subscribers, big name in the community. So I'd ask him what he thought of it. Here is that clip. Do you think Harry Evans is a cuck? <laughs> I think he's a... <laughs> this is important. This is important. I, 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 need, I need a genuine answer. He cares for his son very much. He's not the most personable uh, in Azuma dad. I don't think he quite has the same relation. Um, do I think he's a cook? No, I think he's a pretty swell dude. Sharon's done all right for herself, but she could probably also do a fair bit better. <laughs> but, but, but do you think he's a cook? No, we're, we're being nice to Harry Evans. He's gotten away with this one. He's just a decent bloke looking out for his son and his wife. That's all. Uh-oh. And as you can see, I did not get the reaction I was hoping for. I was really hoping that Mr. Toastman would say, yes, I think Harry Evans is a cuck. To which I would say, cool, I agree. And then the video would essentially just be that and we would be done by now. But I guess I've got to go and investigate a tad further. So I entered into Google to search for what, how can you tell when someone is a cuck? Um, and so that's what we're going to be looking at now. I found an article that is six signs um, about how you can tell a man is a cuck. Let me, let me get this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six signs that a man is a cuck hold. Um, so let's take a look. Let's take a look. Thank you, John Carver, for the article. I really appreciate it. Um, number one, he marries an older woman. Now, we have no idea how old Harry or Sharon is, but there's an entirely a possibility that Harry is in his late 20s um, and that um, Sharon is older. And so, that you know, he married Sharon and there's a big age difference. You can't prove me wrong. Um, step two, he wears another man's sports ball jersey. I have no idea what that means. Step three, 
He lets his wife be the queen of the castle. Now, this is essentially saying that the, the wife runs the place, the wife runs the household. To which I would say, yes, every time we see Harry, he's chilling back with a newspaper, um, doing his Sudoku or his crossword puzzle, and it never looks like he's taking charge. Sharon is always the one who's bossing, Sharon is always the one who's running the place. I think we can quite safely say that Sharon wears the pants in that relationship, and that is the sign of a cock. So yes, I would say that Harry Evans does let Sharon ro rule the castle. I would say that Harry lets Sharon, you know, uphold her, her reign over him. He adopts a child from the polar opposite race. Sure. He marries a single mother. Again, there is no proof that Sharon hadn't already had Mark um, and so was was a single mother by the time that she married Harry. We don't know about, we don't know how long their marriage is. We never saw, if, if there was a throwaway line in, in his room 11, which was, hey Sharon, I like celebrating our five year wedding anniversary, then maybe we'd have a bit more, you know, information about that, but we don't. It's irritating, but what are you gonna do? And finally, he lets another man sleep with his wife or girlfriend. That's just the definition of cock. It's just the definition of cock. And so our findings proved a bit unfruitful. We didn't exactly get what we were looking for. So if we can't prove that Harry Evans is a cock, maybe we need to look at this in a slightly different angle. How do we prove that Harry Evans isn't Mark's actual father? Now, I have very little evidence to say that Harry isn't actually Mark's father, but there's one thing I'm working off, and this is thanks to my research into genetics. Um, my research involved looking at a single um, news article, but I think I found what I was looking for. Now, glasses are, her, are like, they're a, they're a trait that's passed down. Typically, if, if someone, if like your parent is going to wear glasses, you are going to end up wearing glasses at some point in your life. Now, what, what can we tell? Mark Evans does not wear glasses. Neither does Sharon. But who does wear glasses in this family? Yes, Harry Evans. You see where I'm coming from? Harry Evans obviously is not passing down those genes to Mark. And that's, I mean, obviously that, that we don't, that's not a lot. We can't exactly prove an entire theory off that, but I will. Other things that pass down through genetics are stuff like eye color, hair color, all of which kind of adds up. Um, and then there's also genetic conditions. I can't exactly prove that Harry Evans has a genetic condition, but you also can't disprove it. But I don't think we're really going to get anywhere just saying no. So how about instead, let's take a look at who Mark's actual father could be. Um, let's take a look at, well, as I like to put it, Tokyo's sexiest bachelors. Oh, yeah. We have Mr. Veteran, Mr. Firewell, and Detective Smith. Oh. And if you're not turned on just listening to those names and seeing those faces, then there's obviously something very wrong with you. First up to the podium is, um, is Mr. Firewill, who I think we can quite immediately say is not the father. He feels like the kind of man who would be a bit of a cuck. Um, himself, and so I don't think he's the one who's dominating the relationship of this of this love triangle. Maybe he's a bit of a chad in the sheets, you know, a bit of a monster in the sheets, and a bit of a timid guy out in the beats. But I don't think Mr. Firewill is going to be our man. He also feels like the kind of man who would have told Mark if he was the um, real father. And also, um, it's a bit cruel of him to, you know, try to crush his son's you know, football club, that feels a bit much. Mr. Veteran is a more interesting case. This man is an absolute god. And so um, I would absolutely say that he would easily be able to shag Sharon Evans. Um, this is a really dumb video. <laughs> and so, yeah, I definitely feel like Mr. Veteran's the kind of man who could absolutely upstage Harry Evans here. Um, and he also feels like the kind of man who's just been generally supportive and wouldn't really say anything about being Mark's real father. He wouldn't see the need to. He also vaguely suits in age-wise. There's nothing really weird going on there in terms of the, the age difference, I guess. So yeah, I'd say I could see Mr. Veteran being the candidate. He's also a goalkeeper, which I guess matters for some reason. Next up's Detective Smith. 
I think Detective Smith is also, um, is, as sexy as he is, probably isn't the father. Unfortunately, you know, he's just a bit old. This is David Evans' best friend. That is a freaking power move to, to start trying to bang your best friend, your dead best friend's daughter. Like, what the hell? While I think that um, Detective Smith does fit our other criteria, I'm going to say no, he isn't the father. Um, just because I don't want to um, like think that he's a horrible person. Unless it was David Evans' dying wish, but that again, fe nope, don't like, the, fe don't like the, the idea of that. But who makes even more sense than Mr. Veteran, and we haven't even talked about yet? Of course, Seymour Hillman, it all adds up. Oh, yeah. Goalkeeper, which I guess matters. Probably a similar-ish age to Sharon Evans. Closer in age than I would say than Mr. Veteran. Maybe. Definitely closer in age than Detective- Detective Smith's older than Mr. Veteran. What? Because obviously Hillman was, um, you know, like the prodigal son of, of, um, of David Evans. So it feels like also that Hillman would know Sharon to some extent around, um, you know, the aging where they could have had the, the, the deed done. And Hillman also feels like enough of a chad not to say anything, as not to disrupt the family balance. But there is the one thing. Hillman wears glasses. Or at least prescribed sunglasses. Or maybe just sunglasses, but I'm going to say prescribed. And as we know, glasses is a genetic gene, which would be passed down, which we use to discount Harry Evans. So we're going to have to use to discount Hillman. Which then defeats that entire argument. And morally, I don't really want to say that Mr. Veteran is younger than Detective Smith. And if I'm saying Detective Smith too, is too old, then I feel like I'm saying that Mr. Veteran's too old. Which which means that we're left with, with, with zero candidates. Was this all for nothing? Was all this theorizing just to reach a dead end? Ah! Is everything in life hopeless? Is Harry Evans not the cuck I thought he was? Why? Why, God? Why? Fred Crumb. I it's Fred Crumb. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching the pilot episode of a new series I'm doing on the channel, Law and Chaos. I want this to kind of be the flagship series of the channel moving forward. Now I have a bit more time to work on individual videos. Um, I really enjoy making this kind of more experimental the content focusing on different parts of popular culture and fan culture especially. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a nice little comment, I don't know, say... TXM, I think you're very hot, and this video really did a number to me. And make sure you subscribe if you already haven't. 55% of people who watch my videos are subscribed, which means that 45% of them aren't. And so join the 55% if you want to be cool. Sorry, it's not the rules. It is the rules, it's not my... I didn't make the rules. That's the thing I'm supposed to say. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! We wanna say